There's such a beauty of the structure of the eye and the way it works and how it helps you to see what's around you and be part of your environment and in your world. And that's always appealed to me. It's a remarkably complex organ and beautiful organ. And the diagnosis, management, and surgery is also very exacting. Ophthalmologists are medical specialists who focus on the management of eye disease. I trained approximately 14 years to become an ophthalmologist. During undergrad, I knew I wanted to have a profession in the healthcare field. Our clinical hours include 16,000 hours of direct patient contact throughout medical school, internship, and residency. To become an ophthalmologist, your training includes four years of medical school. Internship year in general medicine, where we rotate on the hospital wards and take care of patients with um, a wide variety of medical conditions. And then three years, which are devoted to uh, more specialized training in eye conditions and surgery specifically. Gradually, as the training goes on in glaucoma fellowship, I specialized only in doing glaucoma and cataract surgery, and I did hundreds of glaucoma surgeries during my fellowship training. After 16,000 hours of clinical patient contact, we then certify through a board examination so that our patients can be assured that we've been properly trained to address every medical need that they have. We use instruments that are half a millimeter in diameter. They're very tiny. It's a very precise movement. With each little step that's involved with the cataract surgery, it's almost as if we're trying to assemble a ship in a bottle. Microscopic surgery that we do is a highly coordinated and orchestrated process. We operate while looking through a microscope both hands using microsurgical instruments and both of our feet controlling other instruments. It takes a tremendous amount of trust for someone to lie down on an operating room table and let you operate on their eyes. I'm retired at this time about three years and um, I have two grandchildren, five and two and a half. And I have absolutely no restrictions. We read together, we watch television together and it's probably the biggest reward that I'm most grateful for. It's one of the senses that, you know, affects pretty much every aspect of our day-to-day -day life. The doctors here are specialists and they know what they're doing. They're trained to do it. It's very important that I drive. I'm mobile and I can get from place to place and that's, that's what my job is. And um, without them, I wouldn't be able to do that. I have one granddaughter who's 10 years old. I spend a lot of time with her doing things with her, baking sewing, knitting. And without my treatment, I would not be able to do any of those things. Just to be able to see them take off the patch and see the smile on their face and to be able to give them the gift of vision back, to me, that experience is priceless. I've had people in tears saying thank you, uh, hugging, just so grateful that you made that kind of difference. And I think we're in such a privileged position to be able to do that for people.